An upstate school district looking at a new calendar for 2020. They could have students starting school in July. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford's in Greenwood, where District 50 will have community meetings about that for the next few weeks, Nicole. Well, Gordon, that modified school calendar will be presented to the school board on Monday. Then three separate community meetings will take place right here at the Education Center to find out if shorter summers is what parents want. If you were to plot, let's say, San Francisco. With nearly 9,000 students in 16 schools, Greenwood 50 is looking at making some changes in the upcoming years. A so modified school calendar is not year-round schooling. The proposed 2020-2021 calendar has students starting the year at the end of July. Then with every nine weeks of instruction, it's followed by a two-week break. This would shorten the summer break, but students would still only attend school for 180 days. We've been doing things the same way for several years now, so we want to just make a change to see if this can obviously improve our academic achievement and also improve things with our students as well as our teachers and staff. This proposal comes after the state report card shows that Greenwood District 50 falls below the state average for SC Ready English Language Arts and Mathematics. I feel like you forget stuff when you're out for so long, which summer seems very short, but you're not in classes, you're not practicing, especially like Math is something that you need to practice constantly. With this new calendar, underperforming students would have the opportunity for extra instruction during the two-week breaks. The calendar is a small piece of that, and hopefully that remediation period will be a positive thing and can help improve some of that academic achievement within our district. While the district has researched the calendar option extensively, they still want to hear from parents on their concerns, so they will host three community meetings. We'll make those revisions, changes that some people may have suggested if they were the ones that we need to go with. And then it would actually come before a vote for the, for the Board of Trustees. And that would happen and take place earliest at the November board meeting. Now those three community meetings will take place right here at the Genesis Education Center with the first one on October 22nd at 530, the second October 24th at 8 in the morning, and then the last ones on November 4th also at 530 in the evening. And those meetings are all open to the public. We're live in Greenwood tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, thanks. People will have opinions on that. Those meetings will be the chance to speak them. If it's approved, that modified calendar would last three years starting in 2020.